Hey there, Name the Game here, and welcome back to Let's Play Clouded Heart. You know what? I actually think I want to read the Medina Chronicles. I don't think we've done that. There we go. This is the history of our world, as it has been passed down by my people. I have taken it upon myself to write down this knowledge before it is forever lost with the passage of time. Many answers lie in the past, some of which may help guide us into a brighter future. This information has until now been confidential, however. In the end of the early um, Alaina War, it marks the beginning of a new era, one which the mistakes of the past mustn't be repeated. This knowledge should be shared. This is how it all began. This is our story. Four beings up in their eyes. Beings with no names, no knowledge of their purpose. Today we know them only as the goddesses of light. Earth, wind, water and fire. When they first looked upon the world, they saw only a great void. A sea of nothingness. Blessed with the power to create. The goddesses faced the great dilemma. They would create rich, a rich and beautiful world, full of life, a colorful, vibrant world, filled with love, compassion and empathy. But the goddesses were wise. They knew that with love came hatred, with compassion came greed, and with empathy came loneliness. They knew they could not have one without the other, but as they examined the vast, vast empty realm before them, they realized that not a thing in the world was more frightening than nothingness. And so they began to create. Oh wow. Uh, item. Unicronicles 2. They painted a world with, in their own image, with vast green plains, fiery mountains, cloudless skies, and deep harsh oceans. Two continents, separated by a great sea, later to be known as the kingdoms of Alaina and Euphemia. Finally, the goddesses breathed life into all the creatures that were to roam the land as they, the lands they had created. As they looked upon their masterpiece, they felt their purpose had been served and prepared to go to sleep. However, it seemed fate would not let them rest just yet. Something else had given life, had been given life the day the goddesses awakened. Something that did not wish to sleep. Oh, that's all? Okay. The four goddesses embodied the power of creation, but somewhere in the universe the power of ruin had also been born. The power itself was not an evil one, only as, as evil as those who would attempt to use it. Um... It found, it found its home within the heart of a man, a prophet from the remote island Shalot. He used it in the name of justice to help those of good nature and punish those who did them harm. But like many other great men, he began to fear losing whatever, what he had. He sensed the power of the four goddesses and began to feel intimidated by it. Likewise, the goddesses sensed the darkness growing in the man's heart, and together they forged a weapon capable of vanishing even the deepest darkness. The Sword of Light, the Excalibur. But the goddesses were too late. By the time the Expa uh, Excalibur was complete, the prophet had already grown too powerful. In his delusion, he used his dark magic to banish the goddesses. He imprisoned them inside four large crystals, which he then scattered throughout Alaina. That is another name that I'm probably going to pronounce differently every single time I read it. The people were in shock. They knew this would surely be the beginning of a new dark era. And hid... Ah, sort of hid in their memories, silently drawing their cruel fate. But nothing happened, no darkness came, and no destruction fell to, on any kingdom. The prophet Zeon 
had vanished without a trace. How mysterious. Um, I'm pretty sure Sion was the guy that this other, the older guy from the other city <laughs> whose name I cannot remember right now. I think that's the guy he was talking about. The city's reputation is blah 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 blah. Let's see if uh, these people have anything. Oh wow. Oh, maybe there were. Maybe there were so many people in there. I don't remember. Uh, but hey. Well, what do you know? I was supposed to... Okay. Doesn't say anything new. Uh, but I suppose we have to talk to every single person in this place. Or like in every single person in Euphemia to find the traitor. I can't blah blah blah. Neither of you say any... I just did a full 360 on this guy. I don't know why. Looks like blah blah blah. Um, maybe the innkeeper wishes to speak to me about something new. Um, no thank you. Not right now. So let's head upstairs. There is nothing going on in the upstairs bedrooms. How wonderful. So let's just head back downstairs and head out. Not try not to collide with the piano, maybe. Um, and I remember there is this one, uh, the farmer, I suppose. Not really the farmer, but uh, yeah, I guess it was the farmer. I, we talked about it. We talked to you, right, sir? Yes, we talked about. It. We talked to you. Oh, I cannot speak today, apparently. Nor any day. Did we talk to all- yeah, I think we did talk to all of these guys. Let's go down here and talk to this guy. And the water lady, I suppose. Hello. Oh yeah, and you don't want to talk to us across the table. Dog. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, no, you didn't say... He didn't say anything new, either. Which is awesome. So, let's just head over here real quick and talk to... The lady standing right here. Um, looks easy with purifying water. Like this is actually not work. Don't care about the purifying water. Um... Yeah. Awesome. They didn't have anything new to say to me. The sign doesn't have anything new to say to me. This door was locked, if I recall correctly. No, it wasn't. Never mind. But I'm sure we're talking to... Yeah, he's the janitor. He doesn't say anything... Oh, yeah, he doesn't... <laughs> I didn't mean to click you twice. I'm sorry. Okay. Have we talked to every single one of these guys? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, I think Mars was like, yeah. Seems like every one of these guys have a reason to hate the mayor. Uh, why no medicine producer? Yeah, we have been here. Haven't we? No, we haven't. It's locked, anyways. Okay, so wonderful. Can we go in any of these things? Are they? Can they be classified houses? No. Okay. You have a weird glitch above your head when you go to the left there, sir. See? Looks like a pair of eyebrows. Maybe, maybe so. <laughs> maybe it's only in my recording, and neither of you are gonna n understand what I'm talking about. It could be, you know. Okay, so you know what? I don't know what to do. How awesome! Did we uh, talk to you, sir? Yeah, we did. He's the one who talked about the shield in the last installment, I'm sure. Can you be too careful, son? Uh, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, sh mm, gotta be a little bit careful about my money too, I'm sure. I'm not gonna buy, sell or do anything in here right now. You know what? My I might actually pay for it because I don't <laughs> I don't remember how. Oh God! 
You, sir, are impossible to talk to. Uh, I've been up here too. Wow, these are a couple of absolutely do-nothing episodes. Where's the mayor anyway? I'm gonna save again, I'm gonna stop the recording, not the recording, but the episode right here. And I'm gonna see if I can't find the freaking mayor. Have a good one everyone. Hey there, name the game here and welcome back to Let's Play Clouded Heart. Uh, these guys don't say anything new, I'm sure. But you know what, let's talk to all of them anyways. We can't, we can't walk across this. Apparently. I guess it's sharp. We don't want we don't want that in our feet. So we talked to the um, burly dude down there. Is it his um, promises freedom? Mm, nah. He doesn't have anything to say. He doesn't have anything new to say. Looks not wings. Blah 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 blah. Doesn't have anything new to say, and you don't. Oh, here we are. The city has a lot of depressed people. Jeez, the informant could be anyone. I'm sure it could. But I'm sure it's just one of these guys. Uh, okay, so what do we do now? Mm, oh, I'm sorry that I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm just trying to think out what to do next. Because I don't remember. Alright, well, it's been a while. I have actually haven't played the game myself, but I have watched the playthrough of it. And I don't remember what happens. Like, it's been a few... couple of years, at least. Hey there. Yes, you should hide. What's this sign say? Anyways. Um, oh, awesome. But where does the mayor live? Do we need to find a mayor? You guys have absolutely nothing more important to say. You need to cut down on the caffeine, I think. Uh, is there anything? No, there isn't. Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. I'm at a loss. Hey! There will be no changing of music here. You will have the mysterious chilly tone as your theme song, because I think it suits you. What's up now, kid? I have business to attend to. I should... <laughs> I kind of wish I would could just stay here forever and annoy the hell out of that guy, because he really, really, really deserves it. Ah. Uh. Hey. Where does the mayor live? Do I need to talk to him? Oh, God damn it. I don't want to pay for a hint. But I've been everywhere else. Seriously, do I need to leave town or something? And then there's you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. He looks the type, doesn't he? Let's try to leave. If I can, then I'm really at a loss. Uh, because now I think we've spoken to everyone. And some of them have the same phrases and some of them have new ones. I shouldn't know. You can't leave. Uh, seriously. You know what, um, I think I'm just going to cut the <laughs> installment until I figure out what to do. So yeah, cutting right now. Okay, hey there! So I think I found something. Um, I'll need the key to open this though, better find someone who has it. Oh! Uh, it doesn't seem to be this guy. Oh wow, I just completely randomly found that thing. Okay. Some people blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm assuming neither of these have the uh, have the key. But we have to uh, 
how to investigate, don't we? I'm sure we're all just shaking your heads and how stupid I am playing in this game. But, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a new thing for me. I don't really know what to do. Um, so yeah. Who could have the key? I'm assuming it's not this guy. Did I just look for a shiny? Oh hey, there's a second floor. Hmm. You don't mind me raiding your home, do you? I'm sure he doesn't. Oh, was... <laughs> well, they're mine now. Okay there, goodbye. So yeah. I need to keep uh, an eye on my other screen there because it has a tendency to fall asleep. Oh, yeah, there's nothing down there. Um, well, he didn't have the key, but he did have some cash. Blah blah blah. I don't care about your thinking. Uh, this is just ladies. Let's just go in there and look for a shiny. They don't have one. Let's just leave. And this one is locked. No. They don't... Mm, yeah. And this, these are the ever-cleaning tenants. Okay, so the key. I'm sure it's not in this house. Oh, there. Blah, blah, blah. Poor, poor lady. I'd help you if it hadn't been for the fact that we have freaking night wings on our backs. Probably don't want help from us. Um, but you know, I'm not sure how long this video is going to get. So I think I'm gonna save and come back later. On the other side, 200 cash, or 2,000 cash even. And I'm assuming neither of these people have uh, have the key. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna save and then end the episode. So I hope you liked it. I hope you will tune in for the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Hey there, Name the Game here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cloud at Heart. As you may recall in the last episode, we are trying to find a key. And I don't know where it is. So this is probably going to be very, very fun to watch. It's basically just, I'm just going to run around here and talk to everyone. Maybe not, though. Maybe I'll just check out houses. Um, or maybe I'll just go to the... Um, in the poor corner of the city altogether because I'm sure that's where the key is. These guys. I don't know. I mean, I have absolutely no idea. Mm, blah blah blah. They all say this or they, they their dialogue doesn't change. Yes, I know. Mm, blah blah blah. Where's this the mirror? Where's the mayor's house? Hey! There's a grate up there too. Let's check it out. Basically blah blah blah. Oh, we can't check this one. Damn it. I, I was gonna... I, I was gonna assume that we'd have to find one that was open. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm assuming this guy doesn't have the key. Or the waterworks don't have the key. Um, did I work? No, I cannot. And this guy, either. Though we can check his logs. And his fruit. Nothing whatsoever. Awesome. Hey there, kitty. Do you know where the key is? Tell me? No. Well, maybe it did. And I just couldn't understand him. I'm assuming this guy doesn't have the key either. But you know what? Talk to him. Poor guy. I feel, so, I feel genuinely sorry for these people. Doesn't seem like nice conditions to live in. So I... I don't really blame anyone for messing up the mayor. But you know, as the good citizens that we are not. Um, what is this? Or is a healing place? Yeah, the other white of medicine producer. Uh, if I find a key randomly behind one of these houses, I'd be sad. 
Ah, it's not gonna stop me from trying though. Aha! You know what? Let's try to talk to the shady looking guy again. I mean, it's his, uh, it's his house in front of the grate, so... Dude, dude, get out of my way! Ah, uh, yeah. Let's talk to him. But not before I've checked the other grate in the general in this one's area. There we go. I'm sure there's a grate here too. You don't dare try to get in my way. Or maybe there, mm, there isn't. I was thinking of the sign. Hey. Can I...? No, I cannot. thought there might have been a road there, but there wasn't. So... Let's move over in towards the uh, residence area, I suppose. Ah, uh, sir? Or did we talk to him afterwards? Yeah, we probably did. Try to enter his house. Hey, don't enter my house. I'll have to find someone who has the key for this. Oh, I am an idiot! It's the janitor, of course. He must have the key for that place. Oh god, I feel stupid. So, let's just move our way over here. There we go, didn't take too long, luckily. Marth is a pretty fast walker. Power walker, if you like. And uh, avoid all of these people, because we don't care about them. Or maybe we do. We do. We do care about them. But not right now. We're trying to get to the mayor. Not the mayor, but the janitor. Hey there! Yes, we need a key. Was that the key to the sewer? Sure, I have it. So you're going to, mm, blah, 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 private investigating. That's great! We sure could use more teens like you around here. Sounds like it. Here's the key, go kick that traitor's butt for me, alright? I will! Thank you, Janger. Oh my god, I feel like an idiot! Uh, so yeah, let's move our molasses all the way back to where that grate was. If we can't just enter any grate. No, we cannot. Sorry for wasting all of your time. Uh, but before that, I might actually end the section right here because I'm not sure of how long I've been messing around and doing absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to save here and then end the episode. And me running around in this huge town doing nothing. So I hope you liked it. Whatever there is of this. Uh, I hope you will tune in for the next episode, though I don't blame you if you don't. Have a good one, everyone.